actually you have Kosa and Soto and so that is where we're heading to Soto village and we're gonna give you a nice presentation family it's been a beautiful experience at the city cultural village As you can see, all in beautiful nature. And so, got a nice little wooden bridge here. And then we come on in, come on in, and get a nice presentation. This must be this as a this <laughs> yes, how you feeling? Enjoying the presentation? You learned a lot? Alright friends, welcome to the Basuto village. The Basuto people all the way from the Soto, the very peaceful people. As you can see, we just came inside their village without asking for permission. Whenever they greet one another, they will say Khozo. Khozo, it means peace. So let us greet the whole family by saying Khozo. 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 And the Basutu lady over there, she is busy grinding the red cones, sorghum. She needs to grind the cones to be powder-like so that she can be able to prepare their soft porridge. The name of the soft porridge, they call it Sikat Abu. Like, can you say that? Sikat Abu. Li the same porridge, they sometimes put it inside the bucket for seven to eight days so that it can get fermented. And once it's fermented, they will be enjoying their sorghum beer, Bojwala Basi Soto. Now, Bojwala Basi Soto is only 1% alcohol. That means you can drink and drive. <laughs> you want to get that arrested. Only 1%. Mm -hmm. You can't drink and drive, you'll be arrested. <laughs> so, in this village to get married, a man, he pays 11 cows plus two Ferraris. <laughs> yeah, but not an actual car, a horse. Remember, Ferrari is a horse, eh? Mm -hmm. So the Basotos add horses because of Lesotho is situated up in the mountains. So they use horse as their transport, running away from their in-laws. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> that is how we identify the Basotho man, with a chronicle head. The blankets and the boots. Now the chronicle hat, it represents the famous mountain known as Tabayabu Sihu, mountain of the night. The colorful blanket is to show you that it's very icy cold in the Sotho, more especially in winter times. And then the boots, the forefathers were the first people to be working in mines to dig gold and diamond. This is exactly how to identify the Basotho man. Right over here, their kitchen. The name of the kitchen, they call it the Ifo. Ladies, any idea why this kitchen is built into four-sided figures? Four wives? Nope. <laughs> nope. Hello, ladies. Aren't you cooking? Four dishes, nope. Houses. Four houses, no. Nope. <laughs> Gentlemen, you can help. I know you are cooking recently. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, any idea? Four sided figures. Four plate stove, no. Different stations. Mm -hmm. Four ingredients? <laughs> <laughs> it's a windbreaker. 
<laughs> Ladies, whenever the bees are cooking this side and the wind is their fire, they will move the fire to the opposite direction. Ah. Where there is no wind. No excuses for you not to cook. <laughs> you cook every day. No time for leftovers. Pizza, no. Remember, 11 cows plus 2 horses is very expensive. <laughs> right. And the heart behind you, brother, it is the most respected heart in this village. The traditional doctor's heart. We identify it with the horn and the spear right at the edge. Now, to become a traditional doctor in our culture, it is not by choice. But it's a calling. It's a gift from the ancestors. You born with. It will start at the early age, having dreams or visions. That happens prior time. You'll grow up having those visions. The elders will notice that you have this gift. They will take you to one of the traditional doctors who will throw down the bones to tell you that indeed you are called. You can't refuse the calling. Because if once you do that, your ancestors will punish you. Remember, you are the chosen one. We never start any occasion or ceremony without involving our traditional doctors. Their ability to connect and communicate with our ancestors. We get sick, we consult them. Long time ago, before you can give your own baby a name, you need to consult with your traditional doctors first so that they can tell the ancestors that there is an additional member in your name. Protect and guide the child. So if they call you, all you need to do is to respond. You can get paralyzed, go crazy, even worse, you can sleep and never wake up by punishing you. So they are playing a major role in our family culture even today. Are you ready to become a traditional doctor? Uh, no, not me. You have no choice. <laughs> Here you go, run off, run off to another town. <laughs> All right, that's all about the sisters' friends, and let us thank them by saying, Reale Boha! Reale Boha! Reale Boha! Thank you, too, and go away. Go away. Yes, Bomani. Hey, son, come here. So yes, family, that was a beautiful presentation and we have one more for you. And uh, we're looking to share all this incredible presentation with you and just uh, get us to just reconnect and enjoy cultural energy. I'm trying to get you a shirt, okay? Your hoodie is in the way.